Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Cody Vondell, and today we're gonna create a photo composite using free assets in Adobe Photoshop. Before we get started, I just gotta say, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It means so much that the work I do on screen helps you out with your design process. If you're following along with me on screen or using some of the assets that I sell on Etsy, make sure to hop on our Discord server. We have an amazing community of artists, producers, and creatives sharing their resources, music, memes, and more. If you're not already over there on the Discord server, I hope to talk to you there soon. If you want to support my channel, head over to my Etsy to pick up merchandise and graphic design templates. You can access my digital design library, project files for all of my tutorials, and more over on my Patreon. Shout out to my patrons for making my videos possible. And if you like my intro, outro, and background music, please stream it or check it out where you find your music. And of course, I'm at Cody Vondell on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and all that. With all that being said, there's a link to all of the assets that I use in the description below. Let's hop on screen and get started. All right, so we have our main Photoshop document open. Let's go ahead and grab some of these free assets from different stock websites. Um, most of them were PNGs. A few of them actually had to cut out. For example, this chair here, um, I went ahead and cut it out. It looks... Uh, Something about this is just super low resolution, so I decided to go ahead and cut out that centerpiece so we had total control over the colors. Different colors kind of make it so the pixelation on that one doesn't look quite as uh, noticeable. So let's just go ahead and use it using our uh, lasso tool. We're just gonna go ahead and grab that whole centerpiece so you can kind of see what I did here in this little Photoshop document. Um, so yeah, we're just grabbing this little piece, copying and pasting it. And then our front layer, we are going to use probably a screen blend mode or overlay, so you kind of get an idea of how that works. We're not gonna use lime green, but you get an idea of how, how we're manipulating the colors and keeping the texture um, and kind of getting rid of that ugly pixelation. So let's go ahead, copy that, what I already had in the beginning, paste that over here in our document. We know that is the shade of yellow that we would like. Go ahead and make that a lot smaller, and boom, we are already on the way. So these little atomic things, they work, but we're not gonna be using those today. We are, are going to be using the bubble though. So let's go ahead and grab that, scale it down some, and we're gonna lock this layer. Cool. We gotta make sure we name all of our layers. So let's put a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of like a inner shadow on this chair. We want it to feel sort of natural, not too over the top. We're gonna kind of compare it with while it's on and off. I think something like that works. So what could we use next? Like I said, I don't think we're gonna use these atomic things. They kind of work with the overall vibe, but it's not what we're going for. The CD, we will come back and use this here shortly. <clears throat> but for now, we're just gonna leave it right there. The AstroTurf, very essential for the aesthetic we are going for today. Something kind of some kind of spacey, sort of Y2K, Frutiger Aero, something in between, all that kind of stuff. Um, sort of space age, just having fun, you know, just doing a fun photo comp. It doesn't necessarily have to be an exact style or anything, it's just fun stuff. We are essentially going to grab this little piece of grass right here and we will bring it right down here, scale it down just a tiny bit, put it right down here at the bottom. Boom, now we've got the AstroTurf. So let's go ahead and grab a few more of these pieces, drag them over here into Photoshop. We know we're going to be using all of these fish. So let's go ahead and get them on separate layers and then we can grab them all. That worked a lot easier. All right, cool. So we have our fish. We're going to go ahead and name those layers and we can hide them for now. Um, those are details we will come back to a little bit later. This keyboard, we can go ahead and get this guy kind of situated. It's gonna be a lot smaller, and uh, we'll go ahead and manipulate the colors on that with the hue and the saturation. Total 180, so it's got like a teal and yellow kind of vibe. This one we do. Um, so I think we'll include that one up here. And we'll scale it down some. 
scale down our chair and our light. I guess everything's gonna get scaled down a little bit as we uh, continue to you know fit pieces in here, little little parts. Um, you know, everything gets a little bit smaller so we can scale it all in, fit it all in. Cool. So looking a little bit uh, a little bit filled in now, just a little bit of stuff, not not enough, but you can already see where we're going with this. This little uh, sort of like a ray gun piece. We'll be using that. This little lava lamp. We're really going for the uh, the space age living in a bubble kind of uh, aesthetic here. So, little pineapple, a lot of tropical vibes as well. So space age, techno, tropical, stuff like that. That's always kind of been stuff that I'm interested in. So we're just mixing a bunch of styles that I like today. Just having a fun time with it. And creating a little bit of a shadow for this uh, pineapple here. Go ahead and blur it just a bit. And then we can also, on the uh, pineapple layer above it, looks like it already had some type of shadow on that, that PNG. So we'll just go ahead and erase the shadow that they had. That's looking cool. We've got our pineapple there. Layers are being named. Let's uh, go ahead and throw this martini glass in here. That is a big, big martini glass. So we'll be scaling that down here shortly. Um, we've got this nice uh, plant that'll be hanging out in the background. We've got a couple of plants that we're gonna really fill this in with. So it'll be looking cool. And let's see. This will drop this plant, that is huge. We're gonna have to scale that down some. So yeah, I think if something around those proportions ought to look right. Trying to, you know, make sure things are like, yeah, we're just gonna keep scaling down that, uh, that chandelier, the lights up at the top. We'll just keep on making those smaller so that we can fit stuff in. I think the uh, the main chair is, is the size that we'd like it to be, but yeah, let's go ahead and change the color. It's a nice yellow. It'll fit with everything else going on on this TV. Paste that in here. And let's grab some of this pool water texture. And wow, that's huge. So what we can do here, we'll scale this down just a tiny bit. And then uh, maybe adjust the hue and saturation just a tiny bit. And what we can go, do, go ahead and do is just on this TV layer, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of trace out what we would like to be on this channel. We're gonna make this channel just like the pool water channel. That's very aesthetic. I think that's gonna look pretty fun. So that is the plan. Using our paths, we'll go ahead and cut that out. Now we have this nice little pool water layer. We'll call that pool channel, put these together. And the one thing that I think I wanna do here, I think that's just too much texture going on in the pool water. So let's go ahead and bring that saturation down. Change this to uh, maybe one of the blues that we're, we're using, a tealish blue that we're using, something like that. Um, and then we'll put this layer to maybe like screen. I think that's gonna work for me a lot better than uh, what we had a minute ago. That was just too much texture going on. It was a little distracting. Let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. We will use the speaker and the table though. So. Let's make this table a lot smaller and then we can put the uh, martini glass and the television on top of that. And that kind of creates a fun little, it's just like a little waiting room in a bubble or something, you know, it's just, it's fun. It's aesthetic. It's a nice mixture of different styles that I like. I'm having a fun time creating this little photo comp. So, you know, we're just getting things to feel right, you know, just gonna a basic idea of like how how the martini glass and the TV would fit, like, you know, size-wise um, in relation to each other. And then after that, in relation to the chair and the, I think something like that is feeling accurately, uh, accurately sized, cool. So we're gonna change the color on this speaker and put the speaker right back here. And we'll just scoot this little plant right over a bit. It's getting things feeling nice and comfortable in here. And let's see what we can do about these plants here. So I think this potted plant, we need to just go ahead and lose the entire top. And then we will put this totally different plant over here. And because it's hidden by the kind of reflection in the bubble, you don't even see it. Uh, see like certain details, so we don't really have, even have to worry about that. And I think this is gonna work out just fine for us. So things are really starting to feel, you know, filled in now. Let's go ahead and grab this table and what we can do here is just, uh, we're gonna have this other table 
Um, we're just going to have the top part, so it's going to be like sort of like a floating table, or maybe it's like hooked on to the side of the um, chair over here, or something like that. Let's go ahead and scale down this lava lamp. That thing is way too huge. Um, oversized lava lamps are super cool, but just for the uh, sake of the composition, let's go ahead and scale it down a little bit. Everything needs to come down a little bit. I think something like that feels about right. I want to make sure it's back there behind the bubble. Cool, and I think all of our objects are really uh, filled in now. So that like, you know, 50s atomic style, I don't even know what you would call this particular object. Um, but yeah, it looks cool and it really gives off that like Jetsons vibe, space age, googie, um, that whole kind of mid-century modern kind of look. So I love that kind of style. Um, I think this is really coming together. Um, I think some uh, fish and some CDs and we will have a finished composition. So we'll just uh, get these fish kind of in the right spots, give or take where they're supposed to be. Um, this one can kind of come up here in this corner. And then we'll scale them all down quite a bit. Something, of, something along those lines. Now we can move them right back where they were. That fish looks like he's kind of coming around the corner of the chair. This guy's floating up here, sort of up next to the, uh, the lighting fixture. And this guy's just kind of lounging down here next to the speakers. You know, he's just getting uh, getting his daily fixture of bass. All right, so the CDs, final touch. We've got a bunch of these, and uh, we're just gonna kind of have them floating around. So he kind of has this like uh, zero gravity kind of feel. So there's one of the CDs. We'll have this other one kind of floating up here next to the fish. And using the distort tool, um, or, or essentially we can make it look like it's, uh, you know, at an angle when all we've done is just distort it a bit and rotated it. But uh, it kind of works, you know? So those are looking cool. Let's grab another CD and kind of throw it right down here at the bottom, down in the corner over here behind the plant. It's just floating around back here, waiting for somebody to come pick it up. And we'll have another one kind of floating around down here beside this other plant, kind of next to the fish. This fish is kind of, you know, Checking out the music, he's out here about to, you know, he's the, he's the selector. He's the, uh, he's the secret DJ, you don't realize it, but that little fish down there next to the speaker, you know, he's, he's the one in control of all the music here. So uh, yeah, he's back there with the, uh, the CDs and the speakers and stuff. And this other guy up, up here at the top, you know, he's kind of selecting some stuff too. That's the thing, these fish, you know, they're, they're, they're secretly, they're, they're the guys putting on the show. They're the ones making the music happen. So uh, yeah, we're just uh, scaling stuff around, having a fun time, we're goofing. This has been a really fun composition to make. Um, yeah, I think uh, this has been so much fun. I think we'll, we'll probably do a, a lot more stuff like this in the future. Photo comps are a lot of fun. Just can't go wrong doing more of these kind of things. It's always a lot of fun. Um, I think we're almost there. We might add in like one more CD and I think we're, uh, we're about done. We're scaling them down just a tiny bit. Something like that works for me. Let's uh, get them placed back where they need to be. Cool. And yeah, we'll grab one more right over here and transform it, flip it around, rotate it, boom. CDs floating around, we got the fish, we got the speakers, the uh, everything's there. It's a fun vibe. So that wraps up today's episode. Creating pieces like this in Photoshop is a lot of fun. Planning on doing a whole lot of stuff like this in the future on the channel. So if you liked it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of fun content planned you don't want to miss out on. Thank you again to all of my patrons. You guys make my videos possible. I greatly appreciate you. I'm looking forward to talking with all of you over on the Discord server and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you all so much.